Hey folks, uh, Ashley at allthingsdentistry.com and we're sitting here with my friends, uh, he's an oral radiologist, awesome guy, you've heard him talk, uh, his mandible, I'm going to poke a couple holes in it, uh, this is actually a really man real mandible so you might not be happy, but anyways, he'll learn about it when I, when I show you. Um, I want to talk briefly about um, intraosseous anesthesia techniques, now there are a couple um, products out there that I'm aware of. Uh, one is Stabinant and the other one is X-Tip. Uh, Stabinant um, is just a product that has a, a perforator, essentially a trephine that uh, you place into the uh, gingival tissue posterior to the tooth that you want to um, anesthetize. And then, <clears throat> so we get better here, and it's recommended, I mean, obviously you look out for the roots. And the technique that I've sort of been using and seems to be approved is sort of put this on your slow speed and this makes a little hole into the bone and then you take your trusty old anesthesia, anesthetic syringe and then try to find that hole. Now, that's pretty difficult. And let me just show you, I'm not using the right slow speed, I'm using the lab piece, but it'll suffice. Okay. Here we go, we're gonna put this in here. So typically for intraosseous, you're gonna to wanna to place the, um, that's right, uh, go posterior to the tooth that you need to. However, um, you know, it's really tough to get back here. So if you can see here, I'm just going to sort of find, this is exactly what I do at your early. And then, so I take the perforator, I spin it as I go in, and then right in, and then boom, you see that how it just, I don't know, I don't know if you could see how it just dropped. Let me show you again. So I take the perforator, I'm gonna go in, slow, 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 and then all of a sudden, boom, it just drops. And then what I'm gonna do is you get a bit of hemorrhage. Um, you have the patient anesthetized before this, I should have mentioned that. And then you take your trusty uh, anesthetic syringe and then try to find the dent, that, the hole that you made. Um, even though it's hemorrhaging, I mean, I don't, it, I've used this for years and this has always been the most frustrating, oh, there we go, the most frustrating part of this technique, of this system. I mean, it, it's a basic thing and it works. It's just finding that hole. So along came um, X-Tip. Same idea, but it has a, what's called, a drill and guide sleeve. Now if you check out, um, so here it is, a little piece, check out my uh, my blog on um, symptomatic irreversible pulpitis in the algorithm, this is in there. And here it comes with, um, it's got the perforator and then, oh, and then sleeve, just pulled it out. But it's important to make sure that this is gonna come off. Now, I'm gonna stop talking and I'll let you hear, listen to this. Okay, that little click. Now the problem is, is that when you go intraorally, we're going to do it, it is really tough to get that sleeve off of there. I mean, there must be a really easy way to do it, but I haven't figured it out yet. And other than using some cloth forceps. So again, here's the technique really quick. Uh, let's go up, let's go back here. So I'm going to, same thing, sort of angle uh, apically. See if you can see that. Okay, that's better. So in it goes. I'm pushing, 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 pushing. Some thick cortical plate, and I've stopped. So now here is a difficult part. I mean, obviously I've got a contra angle. Not a. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could do it with an electric hand piece like this. So the key is, and remember, the patient is moving. Is to. Now I don't know how, if you can see how much force it is, but. There we go. Okay, so so not to make this some crazy uh, little show. It's just for you to understand that you really got to practice using that thing. And then the beauty is that I typically bend this so I can get it in. I mean, you can use any 27, 30 gauge needle to get in there. Uh, this is short. It should actually be a. This is a really short. It should actually be a longer. That's a little shorty too. You can use any. 
any regular gauge. I'm just using this for exper for experiment only. And just place it in there and place your local anesthetic. And you can leave the perforator or the sleeve in all throughout the procedure. And as you need it to use local anesthesia or place uh, local anesthesia intraosseous, um, use it that way. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that in there and see what my buddy thinks. And this is moulage, so it actually worked out pretty well. If you want to practice, get an old uh, mandible and just do that. That seemed to work really well. I was really surprised. And with the stabenin, I mean, it works really well. I mean, stabenin just can't find the hole. It's crazy. Anyways, uh, I really wanted to share that with you, and um, we'll talk to you later. Cheers.